Okay, question 11. It says 42 men and 38 women visit a restaurant. As soon as I see things like that, I think it's worth writing down how many people in total. So that's 42 and 38. There are sort of 80 people in total. Okay. 44 of these people have a voucher. Okay. And three times as many men and women do not have a voucher. Complete the frequency tree. All right. So this thing here is our 80. There are 80 people, and those 80 people are shared into people who've got a voucher, people who haven't. So it says 44 of these people have a voucher. So yes, 44 of those. How many are left? It's be careful. It's not 38. It's um, whatever's left over from 44 subtracted from 80, which of course is 36. Now it tells us that three times as many. Uh, men, as women, do not have a voucher. So these are the people who do not have a voucher, these 36. And what I need to do is to share this in the ratio of 3 to 1. Okay, so I need to share this in the ratio of 3 to 1. So we've got uh, men and women. And these, there are three men who don't have a voucher compared to one woman. And remember, when we do ratios, we do a total column. The total here is 3 plus 1 is 4. And we know that we've got a total, actually, of 36 of these people. So, and remember that in a ratio, we can draw a ratio square, and the diagonals must equal. So 1 times 36, 1 times 36, this diagonal, must equal 4 times this value, and that value is perhaps something called uh, x. So divide both sides by 4, so we get x is 36 over 4, which is 9. Okay, so there are 9 there, and we know the total is 36. We've got 9 of them, so there must be 27 of these men. All right, so that's uh, this total 36 is into the ratio of 27 to 9, 27 under men. Nine hundred million. So we have accounted for twenty-seven of the men, but forty-two men in total. So this figure here is forty-two minus twenty-seven, which of course is fifteen. So we've got fifteen in there, and we know that we have accounted for nine of the. Uh, nine women and in total there are 38 so there are 29 left to go in there and we can see that these this 44 does split into 15 and 29 uh, these two add up to 44 so we know we've done it correctly so there's a bit of ratio work and the rest is just basic common sense Part B, a voucher takes 15% off the bill. So after using the voucher, the bill for the meal is 27.20. How much will we bill before using the voucher? Again, I always do these with ratios. Okay, so we've got a voucher, and we've not got a voucher. Okay, now takes 15% of the bill, so what does, if it takes 15% of the bill, we've used a voucher, that must be 85%, must be that. Okay, and if you didn't use a voucher, then it's 100% of the cost that you'd have to pay. Okay, so they come across with the bill, and you have to pay 100% of that bill if you don't have a voucher. If you do have a voucher, you get 15% off, so you only pay 85%. Now, after using the voucher, in other words, we've used the voucher, which is this one, we know that this is £27.20. So we notice we just put them in the correct columns, and what we try to work out is how much would have bill before using the voucher. So this is this value here, x. This is the bill, this is the money. So here's the percentages across here, 
this is the way across here. So we're in ratios, and we know that ratio squares give us diagonals that are equal. So 85x is 2720 times 100. Divide both sides by 85. Right, there's 2720 times 100 is obviously 2720 divided by 82 there. So let's get our calculator out again. Calculator. And we've got 2720 divided by 82. And we get 33 pounds and 70. Oh, did I type that in right? 2720 divided by 85. I think about 85, sorry. 85 there. Let's just delete that. And it's 32, that's better. Okay, and that's obviously in the pounds column, so it's units is pounds. So that, that working is obviously correct here, yeah, and our answer is 32 pounds. I always do those questions with ratios and ratio squares, I find it easier. Question 12 The distance by road from Newport to London is 140 miles. Tom travels by coach from Newport to London. Okay. The coach leaves Newport at 1.30 p.m. Okay, so he's going from Newport to London. And it's 140 miles. And here it's 1.30 p.m. He assumes the coach will travel at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. So this speed that this is going to be is 50 miles per hour between. Using his assumption to work out the arrival time. Okay, so the arrival time, we need to first of all calculate how long it's going to take to do this journey before we can calculate the final arrival time. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we know that the speed is distance over time. And we want to calculate the time. So we multiply both sides by time. So that means that speed times time is distance. And then we're going to divide both sides by speed. So the time is the distance over the speed. Okay, now the distance that we travel is 140 miles. And the speed that we're going is 50 miles per hour. Okay. So if we work that out, we're going to get 140 divided by 50, which is 2.8 hours. Right, now what is 2.8 hours? Well, this is actually 2 hours and 8 tenths of an hour. So, uh, so what's 8 tenths of 60 minutes? 48 minutes. So it's 2 hours and 48 minutes. Okay, but we started at 1.30, so the finishing time is 1.30 plus 2 hours and 48 minutes. And that, of course, gives uh, 4 hours and 18 minutes. So 4.18 4 p.m. Twelve b In fact, the coach was, has a lower average speed. How does it affect the arrival time? The arrival time. So if it's going not as fast, its arrival time will obviously be uh, later. So we can write arrival time will be later. 
Notice that the question asks you for the arrival time, not the amount of time it takes there, but the arrival time. So we're looking for later, not longer. Okay, even it will take longer, that's not what we're asked for. We're asked for how will it affect the arrival time. Okay, so be careful there. Question 13. In a school year group, 55% of students are girls and the rest are boys. Okay, on a particular day, 10% of the girls cycle to school. 20% of the boys cycle to school. So we want to try and find out what percentage of the year group cycle to school on that day. So we want to work out the percentage. So let's first of all uh, sort out girls. So girls. Well, we know uh, that 55% of the the school is girls, and of those, 10% of those travel by bike or cycle. So what's 55% times 10%? Well, this is the same as 55% times 10%. And we do that in the calculator, 55 divided by 100 times 10 divided by 100, and we get 11 over 200, which of course is 5.5 over 100, which is 5.5 percent. 5.5 per cent. Let's do the same thing for boys. So we've got 45% of the year group are boys, and of those, 20% cycle. So that's 45 per cent times 20 per cent equals 45 divided by 100 times. 20 divided by 100. This is 9 over 100. 9 over 100, which of course is 9%. So, of the, so there is a total of 9 plus 5.5%. So 14.5% total. So we're going to add these together. Oops, excuse me. So the answer here is 14.5%. There's another way to do this. Um, we could, if we want to do, do it more algebraically, we could say that G equals the number of girls. We don't know how many girls there are in the school. And B is the number of boys. Okay? And we know that the, that the girls in the ratio to boys is. 55 to 45. In other words, G over B is 55 over 45. So we could do that, and then we want to say what percentage of the year group cycle to school. Right, okay, so how many cycle? Well, 10% times the number of girls, and we don't know who are, cycle. And we know that 20% of the number of boys cycle. So, what is, uh, which of course is uh, 0.1g, and this is uh, 0.2b. So, the total, the total number of people cycling, so total cyclists, is 0.1g plus 0.2b divided by the total number in the school, which is the number of girls plus the number of boys. And you think, well, what am I going to do with that? Well, we can use this, this thing here now. 
be sort of, sort of like simultaneous equations. I agree this is a lot harder, but you, know, you may have done it this way, or may have preferred to do it this way. We know that if g over b equals 55 over 45, then g is 55 over 45 times b. So let's put that into here, so we get, instead of, instead of g, we're going to write 55 over 45. B. Leave the B here, and here we're going to have G, which is 55 over 45, B at B. Now we can take out B as a common factor at the top there, so we get 0.1 times 55 over 45 plus 0.2, divided by taking B out of the denominator, 55 over 45 plus 1. B's cancel, which is great, and left with a number which we're going to put in the calculator. So our numerator is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 times 55 over 45, add 0.2, and we're going to divide that with 55 over 45 plus 1. And we got 0.145. And as a percentage, that's 14.5%. Same answer. Okay, so you can do it with algebra if you want to, or you can do it the previous way.